Of course. Easy. Take your time. Do you know where you are? Shinonome-san? Do you know what year it is? 1985. What's the last thing you remember? 426. He got away from me. I won't let him escape next time. I see. All right. How are you feeling? My head really hurts. Maybe I should keep you here for further observation. My internal clock just needs a bit to readjust. You're putting too much of a burden on your nervous system. You need to stop shifting. Do you still have your pills? Make sure you're taking them. This should make me feel a little better. Take those when your headaches start to get bad. The medicine is a bit strong. You may experience some temporary side effects. But don't worry, your memories will return quickly. I need to go back. You can't time travel right now. But I need to fix the Sentinels before the invasion begins. You can't stop me. I need to go after him. I'm not trying to stop you. We just can't use the gate right now. These pills are hard to swallow, but it's the only way these headaches will go away. The invaders appeared in 2064. They destroyed the world, but they won't stop. They're coming for us here, too. The coordinates for shifting through time, they're set in 40-year intervals, so we can't travel freely. Why can't we time travel right now? The gate has been sealed by someone. I'm looking into it. The gate is locked. There's only one person who could have done it. It's him. It has to be. 426. The one that set up the gates in the first place. So we're stuck here? In the past? Are you alright? Who are you? Hmm. Miss Morimura, are you still overworking her? I've had no choice. The source of the disaster that will destroy the world. If we don't capture 426, there's no way we'll be able to withstand the invasion. The source of the disaster, if we don't capture... you are? Rinya Goto, a second year, like you. I've been assigned to offer you support. <sighs> it's a pleasure to be working with you. I don't need any help. I can do this on my own. It's too dangerous for you. Please, go with him. This isn't 2065. You will follow my orders. Gotokun, I leave her to you. Understood. It's only a matter of time before 426 makes contact with someone. I need the list of those who are compatible. Of course. That includes the people of this era, too. I'll see what I can do. There's no other option. If we don't find him, the result will be worse than anything we imagined. <laughs> or would you rather... I go ask the students, one by one. <sighs> Fine. The file is on my desk. It isn't everyone, but... It does list those who are compatible at the school. Humans with the capacity to pilot the Sentinels. They have already been identified in the future. Four, two, six. Eight, four, two, six. 
If I get any information on him, I'll let you know immediately. I'll fix it as soon as I can. We're counting on you. So this is it. The plan to gather all the compatible ones. Four girls, including myself. Wait, only girls? Fuyusaka and Kisaragi. Class 1B. Yakushiji and 1C. All of the compatible girls are first years. Fuyusaka and Kis Yakushi. All of the compatible. These files are only for the girls. That's all we have here. Gotokun has information on the boys. You can consult with him. Tell me who the compatible boys are. Certainly. But there's something I'd like to ask you first. I wonder, why do you hate 426 so much? Are you serious? The fate of the world is at stake. Even so, I sense your hatred stems from something else. <laughs> the reason for your animosity towards 426. I would like to hear about it. Because he ruined the Sentinels. Because he destroyed my home. Thing deserves no sympathy. 426 is not human. He's an AI created in the future. And now he calls himself A. Sekigahara. Hmm. Tell me who the compatible boys are. 426 could try and contact one of them. Or maybe he already has. According to the clock on the wall, it is time for lunch. They should be in the cafeteria now. Let's go. Hold on a second. Let's head to the cafeteria. A picture of 426. He calls himself A. Sekigahara now, but he's gone into hiding. The one that ruined the Sentinels, the disaster that will destroy the world. If we don't capture 426, there's no way we'll be able to withstand the invasion. I don't have the list, therefore, I don't know. Renya Goto has the information I need. Just looking for you. That's Shu Amiguchi. He's one of them. Did something happen? <laughs> I have a question for you. Have you seen someone that looks like this? Hmm. No, never seen him. I see. Oh! Ah, oh, jeez. Were you able to get your bread? You need my help with anything? 
than that last time. I wasn't able to do anything then. But I want to make up for it. You did try. And I'm grateful to you for that. Where are you going? Would you quit talking to me in front of other people? What is this strange feeling? When I see him talking to another girl, my chest feels so tight. It feels like I'm jealous. No, about him? That's ridiculous. There's no way. <laughs> my head... It hurts. Amiguchi. I get a strange feeling when I think about him. It's almost like I'm in love with him. Fuyusaka and Kisaragi. Class 1B. Yakushiji in 1C. All of the compatible girls are first years. The first year classrooms are on the third floor. Push my way through. Where are you going? Time to find the compatible girls. Where are the compatible ones? I should look at the pictures in their files. See them. You don't have to follow me. Don't say it like that. My job is to help you. Doesn't seem likely. Why don't you tell me what you've gathered so far? So I can better assist you. What are you staring at me for? You probably think I look awful. That is true. Those injured, frail arms. To think they could produce such raw power. It's hard to comprehend. You saw that? The last battle. I was assisting Miss Morimura. Now what? He calls himself Eiseki Gahara now. But he's gone into hiding. If I show his picture to the compatible, maybe I can figure out who he came into contact with. <laughs> My head. It hurts. Tomi Kisaragi. up right well has anyone suspicious tried talking to you recently uh, besides you oh no he calls himself a second oh, if i show you? maybe i can fix well have you I... seen this person before what do you do on your days uh, off i'd rather not say do you like sweet senpai oh no Oh. Hey, what's, what's going on? Like? Why are you doing this? Uh, you need to run. What's going on? 
Did something happen? No, all good. Come on, Mibuko, let's go. Oh my oh, head. Where are you going? It hurts. Run away? Why do I need to run? Megumi Yakushiji. Can I talk to you? This should make me feel a little... He calls himself Ace. If I show... Maybe I can figure... Have you seen this person before? That's 426, isn't it? You know him? I mean, I've heard about him enough times by now. So Morimura told you. You know, the way you're acting, it's going to be difficult for you to pilot number 14. Number 14? Number 14. Number 14 is my sentinel. This is number 14, the one you piloted. I'm glad we were able to recover it. Even in Shikishima's largest hangar, it was barely able to fit. Transporting it here was quite the challenge as well. But now, including number 14 here, we've been able to recover three Sentinels after the incident. Unfortunately, the new models are all still missing. We also have yet to find number 12. And Okinokun, too. So are the Sentinels fixed? With the systems infected as they are, repairing them will be no easy task. And now that he's taken control of the Sentinels... So unless we capture 426, we won't be able to use the Sentinels. What's her deal? Uh, oh, yes. Let me introduce you. This is Megumi Yakushiji-san. Hello. She's one of the compatible from the year 2025. Worst case scenario, she will be piloting the Sentinel instead of you. What? I won't allow it! Piloting effectively is not possible in your condition. But number 14... Mr. Ida chose me for it! It's my Sentinel. Then you're the one who should have been in it. If you're really that possessive of it... Then why didn't you fight, instead of Juro? It doesn't matter. You'll forget this too. Just like everything else. Yakushiji-san! 